Mikola is a mathematician and physicist living in Ukraine, who lives in a small house, with his pregnant wife Nastia. Both are very happy with each other. In the morning Mikola says goodbye to his wife, and then takes his bicycle and leaves for college. After which, Nastia is left here alone at home. When Mikola reaches school, he sees a news on TV, in which it is said, that today Russian army has killed more than 100 protesters. Because of which, the president of Ukraine is very upset, and he is planning to leave the country. The Russian army is killing the people here one by one, because they want to take over the whole Ukraine. Mikola gets very upset after seeing this news, and he goes to his class to teach the students. He explains each and everything to the students very well, so that they can understand everything very well. In this class there is a boy named Ivan, who is very different from other students, he doesn't like Mikola at all, that's why whenever he gets a chance, he bullies his teacher, but Mikola always ignores him. Now after class is over Mikola goes to his home. The next day, when Mikola was going to college, he sees some people with guns on the way, but he doesn't pay much attention to them, and goes straight to his college. On reaching the college Mikola is quite surprised, because the whole class is lying empty here, there is neither any teacher nor any students. When Mikola watches the news on TV, he learns that his whole country is in turmoil, because the Russians are trying to take over every place. Seeing the news, Mikola quickly goes back home, he remembers that he saw some people near his house. With weapons in their hands, Mikola here understands, that the soldiers he saw on the way were Russian soldiers. Thinking of this, he starts riding his cycle fast, from some distance, he hears the screams of his wife, because the Russian soldiers were beating his wife, Mikola comes to save his wife, but a soldier knocks him down with a gun, Mikola begs the soldiers not to kill his wife, because she is pregnant, but the soldiers do not listen to him. A soldier goes inside the house and sets it on fire, after burning the house, both the Russian soldiers start leaving, seeing this, Nastia tries to hit them by throwing a stone, but the soldiers shoot him, due to which Nastia dies on the spot. Mikola is completely broken by the death of his wife, and starts crying bitterly, after some time, two Ukrainian soldiers come here, both of them dig a grave here, after which, Mikola buries his wife's dead body here, after the death of his wife, Mikola's life becomes desolate, because now he has neither a house to live nor a family, Mikola doesn't understand anything here, what to do now, that's why he goes with Ukraine army, Mikola says I want to join army, so soldiers take him to his senior, the senior doesn't trust him, because he thought that he is a spy, but Mikola is assures the senior and says, that my aim is to join the army and kill the Russian soldiers, and drive them out of our country. Hearing this the senior gives him a chance, and his training begins, Mikola was a common man, and he knows anything about guns, so he has to face a lot of difficulties during the training, but a woman explains to him, how to assemble and disassemble a gun. The soldiers here think, that Mikola will never make a good soldier, but Mikola trains hard to prove himself. One night, while training, Mikola tells his comrades that you guys should not call me Mikola, because my code name is Raven, hearing this a soldier says, that one does not get the code name just like that, rather one has to earn it. All this training is a challenge for Mikola, but he learns all the knowledge and skills very well, to take his revenge. One day Senior tells everyone, that there are very few snipers in our group, while we should have more snipers, Senior asks here, how many of you guys want to become a sniper? Hearing this, only a few people stand up, along with him Mikola also stands up, because he also wanted to become a sniper, seeing Mikola, the senior tells him that you are not yet ready to become a sniper, because you cannot even assemble and disassemble a gun properly. Mikola says I need one chance to prove myself, and I will do it in just 20 seconds, after this the officer puts an AK-47 on the table, to everyone's surprise Mikola first blindfolds him, and then quickly disassembles the gun and then assembles it, all he has to do is took 18 seconds, seeing Mikola's speed, everyone present here claps for him, because they understood his ability. Now Mikola is given sniper training, and while giving training he is given an old gun, different from the others, seeing this Mikola refuses to take that gun, because he also needs the same gun that other people have got, but Senior does not give him that gun and says, that if you want that gun, then you have to prove yourself, now Mikola has no other way, so he takes whatever he gets. During training, the Senior tells everyone, that no matter what the situation comes in front of a sniper, but he does not move at all from his position. To prove this, the Senior shoots near each soldier, and whoever moves, they are thrown out of training. But when bullets are fired near Mikola, he does not move at all. After this, in the second training, the target is hidden by showing it once, after which the soldier had to hit the target, but Mikola fails to do so, because he knows that he does not have a good weapon. In the next training, Mikola impresses the lieutenant colonel, because he calculates here before the rest of the soldiers, and tells the colonel the answer to his question. Actually Mikola used to be a math teacher earlier, because of which he can crack any calculation very easily. After a few days the results of all the soldiers come, and now Mikola has passed the sniper's training. 
One day the colonel tells Mikola to pack his things quickly, because he will be sent with a group to a check post, which is occupied by the Russians, coming here all the soldiers take their positions, and aim at their respective targets, they were about to kill their targets, when they see a car here, which was going towards the check post, seeing the car, the lieutenant colonel stops the soldiers from shooting. Russian soldiers ask the couple sitting in the car to come out, and then start checking their passports. After everything is fine, the Russian soldiers let the couple go, but they keep their passport with them. When the couple asks for their passport, the soldiers start beating them. Seeing all this, the lieutenant colonel orders his soldiers to shoot them, after which all the Russian soldiers are killed here. After their first mission is completed, the lieutenant colonel congratulates them. After everyone returns to your base, Mikola finds his comrades here, a soldier tells him, that they have been sent on a different mission. After some time Mikola learns, that some of his comrades have been killed by a sniper. The next day, Mikola is sent on another mission with some soldiers, coming here they first lay dynamite, and then hide at a place. When the Russian soldiers were coming here, Mikola sees one of his students Ivan with them. Ivan is the same student, who used to harass Mikola in the class. When the Russian soldier's foot falls on the dynamite, then it gets blasted, due to which, all the Russian soldiers are killed here. The colonel tells Mikola not to be sad about Ivan's death, because joining the Russian army was his own choice. Coming to camp everyone was resting, colonel here shows his family photo to Mikola, he says I have two daughters, but they don't know about my job, but my wife knows that I am a soldier. When the colonel sees a crucifix near Mikola, he asks if it is a talisman. Mikola tells that this crucifix was gifted to him by his wife. Coming to the next mission, they first dig a pit on the border, and snipers take their positions. They have received information, that Russian soldiers are going to leave from this place. Meanwhile we see the Russians, who were preparing to attack this place. Mikola here sees the same man who killed his wife. He asks the colonel for orders to fire on that man, but the colonel forbids him to do so. Mikola again asks for orders from the kern. L because that soldier was right on his target. Mikola does not want to miss such an opportunity at all, so he does not listen to the colonel, and shoots at the Russian, due to which he is killed. The colonel gets angry with Mikola, because he didn't listen to him. Colonel tells, that one of the most dangerous Russian sniper Sari is hidden at this place, and he is looking for us. Colonel was looking for Sari, and in no time he finds his location. Colonel tells Mikola the location of Sari, before Mikola could see him, Sari kills Colonel, because he was very fast. Mikola here understands, that the enemy has come to know about its location, the Russians fire on them, so he quickly picks up the dead body of the Colonel, and starts running away from there. After some time he leaves the enemy territory, and comes directly to his base, Mikola here considers himself responsible for the Colonel's death, because he did not listen to the Colonel, the Colonel was the only man, who always believed in her, Mikola here vows to kill the sniper, who killed the colonel, Mikola goes on a mission alone, there he sees two snipers, whom he kills, but here Mikola was also hit by a bullet, while resting, Mikola receives a call from the brigadier general, who tells him that if you want to know about Russian snipers, you will have to come to our camp, now Mikola takes all his essentials, and then leaves to go to their camp, after reaching here, Mikola is given more information about Russian snipers, the general here tells everyone, that Russians have a very clever sniper named Sari, and he has killed six of our best snipers, so we should not take him lightly, and he's such a sniper, who does not change his position frequently, because he has his favorite location, from where he shoots his prey all the time, a soldier present here says, that we should lay dynamite around his location, but the general says that we cannot do that, and Mikola will tell us why we cannot do that, Mikola says that it will be dangerous for us to do this, because we will go into our enemy's territory, and as long as we plant dynamite there, enemy snipers there will kill us, hearing this, the general makes a second plan here he says, that at that place we will send our snipers in two parts, the first team will attack them from the front, after which the enemy snipers will be busy in it, after which our second team will attack them from behind, and Mikola will take the opportunity to go inside the building, and there he will kill the Russian sniper Sari. Now according to the plan, all snipers take their positions, Mikola also comes to his position, and here he kills two Russian snipers, on the other hand, the snipers of the other team were stuck on their positions, and they wait for Mikola's signal, as soon as Mikola gives them the signal, they kill their enemy, Sari realizes here, that none of his comrades are reporting from outside, so he leaves his position and goes outside to see, meanwhile, another Russian sniper also goes outside to see, because he felt that maybe his there is a problem in the communication device, but they do not know that Ukrainian sniper snipers are ambushing them. Sari sees one of his comrades here, who was shot by someone, seeing this Sari quickly calls his backup team, but the team asks for 10 minutes to come here. Hearing this, Sari comes back to his position, and starts searching for his enemies. He sees a wooden crucifix near him, before Sari can understand anything. Mikola attacks him from above, he kills Sari by attacking him several times with a knife in the neck. On the other hand, the second sniper also came back to his position. Then there is a granite blast here, due to which he is also killed here. 
when the Russian backup team calls Sari, Mikola answers from the front, he kills the truck driver, seeing that all the Russian soldiers come out of the truck, but they did not know, that Ukrainian snipers were ambushing them. Ukrainian snipers kill all the Russian soldiers here, after killing them all, Mikola comes to his wife's grave, because he has killed all those who killed his wife and colonel, Mikola says that my work is not over yet, and now I will serve my country, saying that he leaves for his next mission. And the movie ends here.